checking in i feel really short of breath the more you talk about the negative part of a magnifying glass you put on it so i just have to kind of like put like blinders on and not think about it 10 minutes on the stairmaster and then i did uh 20 minutes on um the treadmill at like a 4.5 incline Like I literally have calls that are just flying through. So if I need to like drop the camera, it's because I don't want to like obviously divulge private information on a vlog. It's actually St. Patty's Day weekend. It's up in the air whether or not my friends and I are going to hang out. I'm very like cool on whatever we choose to do. If we do nothing, if we hang out, cool. This is literally... <laughs> Obviously not the healthiest meal, but sometimes just some wings and fries with a little ranch or blue cheese is all you need. You know what? Today has been like an utter shit show. The other night, like I said, I was just going to eat and relax, which I did, which is very nice. Now I'm actually on my lunch break for work. But I just figured I would get you guys started on this next part of the video and pull you guys up. Sometimes life just gets kind of busy and <laughs> the best way to soothe that is to have an outlet. And I'm not even the type to go out that much, um, but I think I need to start doing that again. I've been posting a lot of really cutesy reels and stuff on my Instagram page. So make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Instagram, I'll plug it right here. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to do makeup like that. I'm kind of feeling the natural, to be honest with you. And my um, in my last video, the comment was so sweet. Thank you. I'll post it somewhere here. It was like um, that I don't need to wear makeup, which I completely agree with. I I actually don't think I need makeup at all. I just how do I put it? It's like dressing up your face, like you get dressed up for the day. Um, I just like to look extra cute, like just look extra, period. But I think that actually was very sweet and wholesome and I don't know, especially now it was just like a really nice thing to hear, so. Thank you! It's St. Patrick's Day weekend and I don't know if I want to do like green makeup and do like an IG post because I feel like everyone's going to be doing the same thing, you know what I mean? Like the same corny green makeup IG post, but now that I think about it, maybe I'll do that. Like a bralette, but it has little shamrocks on it. So if you guys like notice that I'm just like keeping more to myself, it's not because like, I'm like, I don't know. I hate when YouTubers do that. Like they have like a channel that's like kind of like lifestyle-esque and they never share anything about themselves. It's like very hard to relate to them, but I think I've shared them like no freaking weapon formed against me has ever prospered and it always will be that way and I want to impress upon you guys that if you feel like you're not showing up and living the life you want to live the first step is trimming the fat seeing who's in your life who maybe needs to be yeeted maybe needs to be you know cut out of your life and let's normalize that. <laughs> let's get into that actually. Normalizing 
cutting off toxic family members and friends. Like we do not normalize this, you know? Especially women, we're such like healers, fixers, but we gotta work on healing and fixing ourselves before we're, you know, trying to uh, keep, I don't wanna say baggage, but people who aren't, how do I put this? People who do not have your actual real best interests at heart are baggage, always sounds like I have like a freaking frog in my throat man like seriously but um I just left the gym um I did like some light cardio light cardio and oh look the train is coming I don't know if you guys can see but I'm gonna try and show y'all can you see it That's something about this gym I like is like I'm always catching the trains going by. <laughs> That's something I really like about this gym. I like seeing the trains go by. Like, I don't know. I find stuff like that cool. But back to what I was saying, I just left the gym, did some light cardio. <clears throat> it's been kind of like, in my mind, mind over matter. Like I keep saying, honestly, um, because even when your body's telling you no, your mind has got to tell yourself yes, 10 times more than what your body's telling you. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it's like, that's not just for like working out in the gym. That's like a life lesson, I think, is that even if you're going through whatever, let's say you have like an injury or something, let's say you're an athlete, okay? And you're injured psychologically, like that can like, mess with you and it's like the weirdest thing um because you could like psych yourself out but your mind has to be like 10 times stronger than your body like it's so important to have like a strong body and like you know muscles and look great and shredded but if your mind's not right then nothing else is gonna be right that's why like the fitness industry right now i just really quickly wanted to say this Due to like a lot of it, I think 90% of it being social media, the fitness industry is just kind of different right now. It's it's not bad, it's just different. <clears throat> um, everyone wants to be like, you know, trendy and views and it just feels like everyone's just in it for the same purpose and everyone's just kind of like cookie cutter, you know, fit, influencer online you know what I mean like 
none of it really feels authentic like it used to. And um, it's kind of like a shame that this is when I'm choosing to kind of get into it seriously. But it is what it is, right? But with all that being said, having passion and having like drive and determination and wanting to like my why for why I'm in the fitness genre, why I like the gym, why I work out is not sheerly because I want muscles or views or any of that or clout, you know, or to have like the nicest body. For me, it's because I have something to prove to myself. I have, I want to like leave, like this is going to sound really deep guys, but like I want to leave like a legacy I want to like seriously apply myself to something and not only make it happen, but like hit goals that I didn't even think I could achieve type of stuff. Stuff that 30 years from now, I'm going to look back on it and be like, wow, I did that, you know? I may or may not have done a thing. You know what? I don't really have like that many proper, proper wine glasses, so... We're going to use something a little bit vintage, if you will. These are like the fine china. <laughs> Guys, cheers to the end of another vlog and positivity, good vibes, and more to come thank you guys so so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed remember to like comment and subscribe for more as always guys be well be safe and take care guys i'll see you in my next one bye